and freed him so that he is said to pass through the Golden Fort. So if there is a non-Muslim who doesn't believe Islam is the best way of life, and if you accept Islam, then also you can marry him all. Because as far as religion is concerned, we are very how how sure you are with marriage. Two plus two is four. It's not three. You are cock sure. Same with the Muslims, we are cock sure that the only religion which is correct is to submit your will to God. And I am a student of comparative religion. I have studied Hinduism, I have studied Buddhism, I have studied Christianity, Judaism, and I have come and taken out the communalities. And I find that most of the people following the religion have not read the religious scriptures. So I tell them, read your scripture. And all the scriptures say God is one. All the scriptures say God has got no image. God has got no idol. All the scriptures say the last and final message is Prophet Muhammad. So anyone who says that God is one and Prophet Muhammad is a messenger is a Muslim. Brother, you said that you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God, correct? Do you believe that God is one? Do you believe idol worship is correct? Do you believe that idol worship is correct? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now, as I told you earlier in my talk, that amongst the Hindu scriptures, there are two types of scripture. One is Shruti and one is Smriti. Shruti is the word of God. Smriti is the word of the sages and saints. In Shruti, you have the Veda and the Upanishad. Amongst all the Hindu scriptures, the highest in authority is the Veda. Like in Islam, the highest is Quran. In the Hindu scriptures, the highest is Veda, then the Upanishad, and then the Shruti. It's mentioned in the Sita Sita Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19. asti Of that God, there is no Pratima. Pratima is the Sanskrit word which means an image, a photograph, a picture, a painting, a statue, an idol, a sculpture. Of that God, there is no Pratima, there is no image, there is no picture, there is no painting, there is no photograph, there is no sculpture, there is no idol, there is no statue. <laughs> Same thing is repeated in Yajur Vay chapter number 3 to verse number 3. Na tasya pratima asti. Of that God, there is no Pratima, there is no image, there is no picture, there is no painting, there is no photograph, there is no statue, there is no idol, there is no sculpture. So, brother, when this clearly mentioned, in the Hindu scriptures, that God has got no image, no photograph, no sculpture, then where is the question of idol worship? Further more, if you read the Jewish chapter number 40, verse number 9, it says, Anhadu Pravishanti ya Asambhuti Mupaste. They are entering darkness, those who worship the Asambhuti. Asambhuti are the natural things like fire, water, air. And the verse continues. They are entering more in darkness, those who worship the Sambhuti. Sambhuti are the created things, table, chair, statue, idol, picture, photograph. Who says that? Jajurvay chapter number 40 verse number 9. So better if you are a good Hindu, why don't you follow the Hindu scripture? Why don't you follow the Vedas? Because uh, I like to what it is not, because our religion is a God is one, but there is a India Sorry, the microphone system is not good. I require the sound engineer. Can you increase the high frequency? Whoever's on the sound, please increase the high frequency and lower the low frequency. Yes, brother. Can you repeat what you said? Actually, I would like to know what it is because there is a one. You have to believe there is one God. Yeah. You have to believe I give worship is wrong. Do you believe that? Yeah. Okay. Do you now, believe now, the now God? Sorry? Now God. Thank now, you. Now, and you also believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Brother, is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No. Are you doing out of your own free will? Yes. Is anyone pressurizing you? No. Nobody. Anyone giving you money? Nobody. Nobody. It's me. Because in Islam, very good, very good. Because in Islam, you cannot force anyone to convert. You know, people will file a case against me. I'm not bothered about the case. I've got many cases. Why don't you go against my religion? 
in my religion, I cannot force anyone to accept Islam. Rather, I'll say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. Uh, Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Ashadu. Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa Rasuluhu. Wa Rasuluhu. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger and servant of Allah. In Islam, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that women, a non-Muslim, accept Islam. All